Hello, welcome back. Last time this hold showed me a pretty good time. Whoa, people are here. <laughs> I wasn't expecting them. Uh, finish the level I was on. Time to pick another one. Is this a level? Guard Cave. Ah, this must be the cave that the contract giver was talking about. I recognize these place names, barely. I mean, they're actual... Wait a second, I've been here before. Right, I need the keys. I have one now, right? It's a blue key? Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. Don't remember what else was going on. I mean, I read the dialogue. I read it out loud, probably. Sometimes when I read things out loud, I feel like I pay less attention. Oh, okay. Those are some names. Uh, Sudgard is this way. The contract giver said I should speak to a raftman at the foot of the mountain about getting to some tower on the river. Okay. Sometimes when I read things out loud, I feel like I pay less attention to them if I just read them to myself. Uh, Bethro trotted back down the mountain and was relieved to be out of the claustrophobic pathways of Orm. He had gone to meet a raftsman who would hopefully take him down the river. I'm looking to get to a tower on this river. I can get you there, but I ain't going in that tower. It's infested. Oh, great. <laughs> Unstored tower. Unstored? There was little small talk between the pair on the way to the tower, although Bithro did manage to persuade the raftsman to wait for him to clear out the tower. Bithro mentally prepared himself and stepped off the boat. The raftsman refused to budge. Is it a raft or a boat? Make up your mind. <laughs> I guess a raft is a boat, of sorts, right? More of these hallway connector rooms. Alright, adders and brains. This looks like a place for an adder to die, potentially. You're gonna kill the brain? Sure. But I first have to get this adder to eat this brain. Alright. Oh, I'm gonna be invisible. I see. Okay. Not necessarily. I don't have to be. I don't want to be. I choose not to. Oh wait, these are brained. Hold on. Right, of course. I can't just send you north the way I normally do. That would take some extra wizardry. But if I'm invisible and the brain doesn't see me, then I can. Kind of. Well... Hmm... Yeah, okay, this is fine. I've accidentally done something good here. Alright, so you're currently vertical, so you'll come toward me, unfortunately. I have been better off on a different preference, but I can't get that. Alright, so you're currently unbrained. Because no brain can see me. So I can send you up here. I need to do that, but... Um, with a different timing. Let me just wait for a moment until you get... Yeah, right around there. Actually, I want you over... Uh, here. So you'll go south. Then this way. You're vertical, but that's okay. I can make you be horizontal. Alright, so I'm out of brain range. And then, as long as I can make you go west, which I can, you'll end up in there. Neat! Okay. Now, does it mean anything for this adder to be brained? Uh, I don't think so. Can't I just, like... Well, I guess... Oh. What? Okay, right. Unbrained while... Oh. Alright, so just make sure vertical. What? Oh, interesting. If it can't see me at all... Oh, this is weird. This is a brain seeing me, but an unbrained adder. Okay, so I get what I actually needed to do. He, no, I don't. For a second, I thought I needed to get this adder in there to hit that plate, but that's not going to happen. So, my... um. My interpretation of what's happening here is that the brain sees me and therefore knows that I exist. The adder cannot... No, okay, so it feels like this is some weird interaction between brains and unbrained serpents because you're isolated from Bithro's location. 
you'll behave unbrained. And when unbrained, you can't actually smell him. Even though the brain can. So you just revert to... Basically always going north, because that's what serpents like to do? Because how else do you explain... North going there. If you knew where Bithro was, you would go south toward him. So I'm just stuck if I do this. Okay. I... Cannot bring that adder out here because it has to go in there to do this. There's a hot tile here. Let's see, I do gain... Well, I gain a move by doing that, but it's nowhere near enough for anything. So I have no idea what I actually need to do to move this adder south. There isn't going to be a timing that does it. Like, you're on horizontal preference right now, that's what happens. You're on vertical preference now, that's what happens. If I'm in your column, it doesn't make a difference. Although it does get me out of range of the brain. Doesn't help though. Because as soon as I'm back in range, which I will be right away... Because I can't step the wrong way across the force arrow, and that doesn't open. My name is It sure is. Okay. I can't get in there myself, even if I could, you're fully protected now. Do I need to remain visible? Yes, that's what it is. Okay. I can't take the invisibility potion, that's all. Okay, so I have to do this visible. Oh. Alright, that's a little harder. But not impossible. Actually, it might sort of just happen if I sit here. Well, not with the adder like that. If I configure your tail... A different way. What if I do this right now? Um, not what I want. Still not what I want. Okay, so you come over here. Come, Neo, you won't come all the way over, right? Because you don't like to do that. Alright. Coil your tail there. Then try to eat it. It looks tasty. Oh, shoot. Um, this is still not working. I can't get you this far west. If I could, my suspicion is that you would, um... So you'd try to snake up this way, then become unbrained, and mostly go northeast, and end up in there. So I just basically have to get you into the west column while brained, and step out there myself. Okay, well... Can't I do that... Uh... Like this, if my timing's good enough? Yes. Perfect. Okay. And now you'll just kind of go there. Uh, okay, maybe I need to be north of you. There we go. Okay. I'm visible. I had observed early on that I could avoid that invisibility potion. Then decided it'd be easier to deal with this if I were invisible. Then kind of forgot that was a step I could take. Alright, you come here. And go there, sure. Or, I mean, you don't even need to. This works too. Okay, cool. Not really sure why that hot tile is there. I have a sword. Well, that was cool. Somehow this looks like it should lead this way. I mean, why would you carve this entire hallway in your... whatever this is? I guess this is a tower, was it? So you build that hallway, but just put nothing at the end of it. Alright, Roach really wants to move through Brain, but can't because Brain is solid, but Brain invisible. The Brain cannot see itself. Um, if I were spherical, I also could not see myself, at least without a mirror. 
what am I doing? Um, so I walk in here to stab this and that's the last thing. So the roach and this brain need to be dead first. How will this brain die ever? By the roach stepping there and deactivating both of those. Okay. Right? Yes, that deactivates itself. It's a little confusing to read the colors here. This is a double bright cyan highlight. That's single bright, meaning the plate deactivates the arrow. But this has two things with a highlight on it. So the plate deactivates the arrow on top of itself. Highlighting is a little inadequate for uh, force arrow toggles sometimes. There are also situations where a double highlight shows up when it's not necessary. Like if you, if something opens a door and there's an arrow on top of the door, it'll highlight as if, oh by the way, I need to get unbrained here, uh, just so the roach doesn't see me for a turn. Now I can't, I can do that by um, stepping down to the south, but it won't solve the room for me. Because while that'll make the roach move, now I can't reach it anymore. Alright, so I need this rattlesnake to encircle but not kill me somehow. Well, it neither encircled me nor didn't kill me. Okay. So reminder that rattlesnake heads are brain invisible. Rattlesnake bodies and tails are visible. So I need to be encircled by the body and the tail. Like if I were here and I had tail, 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 head, that'd be perfect. But how would that situation ever happen? The only way it would is if I were already here and it were, you know, tail, 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 head, and it somehow decided to go north instead of south. Not possible, as Half would say. These doors exist, but they don't close. Is there another way I can force a roach to take an unbrained step? Hey, Ortho Square, can I do something with you, maybe? Well, no. No, it doesn't protect me from this way. I'll still get eaten. Okay. All right, I think I get it. Uh, I see a spot that can be used to my advantage. Like this, I think? Uh, no. No, that's not right. I mean, if I let you go here, well, for one thing, I'm not in there. For another, that doesn't seal anything off. This is only four long. If it were longer, it would help. A three long one can't do it at all. Four long is the bare minimum for this. Like, I'd be in a corner. Well, unless there's like a, you know, an alcove like this. I mean, there's no way to do this, right? No, because I have no way to kill that roach or that brain. I can kill the rattlesnake first, sure. Okay, what about if I'm in here, one of these three wide hallways? Yeah, this is what it is. Okay, I see it. <laughs> that's pretty cool, actually. Uh, that's not it, because I can't bring you all the way... Uh, can I? Yes, there we go. Okay, Roach is unbrained, but it needs to be on a different turn. Oh no, it did it anyway. Okay, great. <laughs> so, here's what happens. Uh, Rattlesnake came to me. Roach is currently brained because the brain sees a path through the rattlesnake's head. Roach is unbrained because the brain does not see a path anymore. The roach must move first, which it does, yes. So the brain doesn't see a path to me at the time the roach takes its turn. So the roach makes an unbrained move onto there. Neat. <laughs> That's cool. It's, you know, getting into... I wouldn't say obscure, but like, very particular game mechanics. But it makes a good puzzle out of them, so I like it. 
Uh, flow only in this direction unless... Do, do I need to start this room here for some reason? Doesn't look like it. I wonder what the point of this is. Well, I'm going to take advantage of my position while I'm here and go this way. Okay. Much longer one. Big pressure plate. Horizontal only here. Okay, so I think this instead wants a different method of cornering myself. Because this, I believe, only worked because it's vertical. I'm not so sure now. Um, I can shorten you if I need to. I will die if I do it this way. Does this move the roach? Yes. Okay, well, I can just shorten you and then do that. I don't see any reason that wouldn't work. Oh, boy, it's brained. Okay, right, so shortening a brained rattlesnake is a pain. It can be done. With sustained efforts. No, oh, it's not as bad as I remembered. Alright, how many segments do I need? That should probably work. Um, I'd be better off if I could get you away you won't go. Um, I had you that way before. Here we go, this will do it. So you come in here, come in there, and then I can probably escape. Not quite, you need to be shorter. Alright, so that's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'll stab you really only once more. Hmm. I don't know about this. That is the minimum length. I should be facing north right now. If I were, I would have survived. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, Roach did that, which is fine, because I don't have to get in there for the brain anymore. Okay. So having this be the room right after that other one, I feel like there was very little additional challenge here. Maybe there was an alternate way to have done that previous room that wouldn't have given me all the tools I needed here. I don't know. Uh, okay, what's with all the force arrows in places like this? Well, right, I guess you have to keep out of this room until you've done the one to the south. That's fair, but then again, tower builders, why did you build this hallway? <laughs> uh. Okay, so I'm here. There's a staff. Only thing I can do to start is this, which will what? say what. And was that open before? No. Alright, so this closes every time I come in here. It opens when Rattlesnake steps off that. Alright. Seems like a problem because I need... Yeah, that's a North Force arrow. Which is opened by this. I get a Speed Potion. Okay, sure. So what, there's a Golem... Now hang on, that arrow opens. So the problem I see here is that I have to be to the east of this roach. Ah, this is the way this is here. I have to be to the east of, well, at least in this column or further east for the roach to die. Getting into that column. Okay, that just means I have to be in here when the rattlesnake comes off of there, I guess. Okay, so I have to take a staff. Not sure what all this is about. This is an anti-monster barrier. That is weird. It traps me there forever. Okay, so monsters can't enter. Beethro can't really leave. They can still see me from here. And will path to me. <laughs> So I have to go in here to kill the roach. And I have to have a st 
staff. Ah, uh, so that's a place for me to get trapped and murdered by a rattlesnake. Or maybe just trapped. Because I'm safe here, but I can't escape it. And I don't currently have a sword and can't get it back, so I need to somehow do this business before I lose my sword. But that's not a thing I can do, is it? Uh, this is a pressure plate. If somebody else steps there, there's nobody else right now, though. Okay, so the only other action I really have available is to step here first, which does nothing. Because this is closed. I have to take a staff to do that. I could be going the other way around. Doesn't make a difference because nothing's moving yet. With a staff, how will I ever owe oh, on the hot tile? Kill the rattlesnake was the other part of that. Oh, I'm going to have to kill a lot of things on this hot tile. So speed potions. Those exist. I need something. If I send you back in here head first, you're going to do something I don't want. Ah, but this roach. I get it. I don't get what these are for, what this is for specifically. I'm going to have this rattlesnake. Well, you can't die. Your head is invincible. Oh, this is a problem. How will you ever die? I can't get your tail there. This must be involved. Ah, so as soon as that roach moves, killing mechanism opens there. Okay, so that's how the rattlesnake dies. So I need to, sure, take a staff. Get in here, which means just leading you out somewhere. There's a golem. So my plan here, ouch, is to kill you on that hot tile. And then put your body here. Uh, that's a problem for the rattlesnake. So I'll just have to tell it to get lost. Okay, that was a few too many. I need to reposition this brain, I think. And then tell you to get lost again. I don't know why I would take the second speed potion. All right, so what this should do is allow that roach to move. Oh, uh, yeah, no, you're still brained. Uh, without having taken the second speed potion, the roach will step over that, allowing this one to move. Does this ever reopen, though? Yes. Okay. Now, I need to run very fast. Faster than it's possible to run. I need to do something different here. Okay, so that's a start, but it's not the whole thing. Well, okay. Here's another idea. I'm not using that this brain currently. But I'll bet I could. Uh, Golem, you're gonna have to get out of the way. Also, Rattlesnake, you're also gonna have to not be in my way. Too late. Okay, so the golem doesn't need to be there yet. Well, hmm. I guess I can relocate it temporarily. Okay, so if you go there, I think everything will kind of work out. Get lost again. So control weight while speed potions. Waits 60 Bithro turns. Uh, yes, Golem does need to be there. Okay, um, actually I'm protected from the Rattlesnake now. As long as the Roach can see me under brainness, which it can. Okay, there we go. 
So that lets me out. The brain protects me from the rattlesnake, not from the roach. I'll have to deal with it still. But it can just go in a pit. Probably somehow. There we go. So could the brain. Um, right, and the room's done. Why don't you come over here? There we go. Neat. Okay. Good stuff. Alright, that's where that ends. Um, I'm having this weird feeling that I don't want to do another room today. I just feel like that was the perfect amount of draw for me right now, and I'm gonna stop right here. <laughs> I could do more, but I choose not to. This looks like an interesting carving puzzle that I'll do some other day. Alright, I'll see you then.